a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. There is a legend about a bird that sings just once in its life, more sweetly than any other creature on the face of the earth, from the moment it leaves the nest, it searches for a thorn tree, and it does not rest until it has found one. Then, singing among the savage branches, it impales itself upon the longest and sharpest spine. While dying, it rises above its own agony to outsing the lark and the nightingale. One superlative song, but existence is the price. The best is only brought about at the cost of great pain. This classic story, my friends, is an appropriate metaphor for the celebration of all saints. For it says that the greatest things we accomplish in life require some amount of suffering. The greatest lessons we learn often come through pain and failure. These are the lessons, my friends, that the saints, both those recognized throughout the liturgical year and the countless others who found their home with God, can teach us. They are the same lessons and challenges found in today's readings. In the book of Revelation, we have an image of the last judgment where all nations stand before God. The saved are those dressed in white, those have survived the great period of trial by washing their robes in the cleansing blood of the Lamb. In other words, those who are acceptable in God's sight, the saints, are the ones who persevere in life, never giving up. They are willing to suffer when necessary, making themselves white or clean through the blood of their suffering. St. Matthew's account of the Sermon on the Mount begins with the popular Beatitudes. The Lord provides nine different situations, many of which are challenging and necessitate suffering, but all of which we encounter at some point in our life. Sometimes we are the poor in spirit. Sometimes we are those who suffer. Sometimes we hunger and thirst, and sometimes we are called to be peacemakers. Sometimes we are insulted and persecuted for what we believe. But in the end, Jesus says, Be glad and rejoice, for your reward in heaven is great. Saints, those whom we honor today, were people like you and me. They found themselves challenged by the Beatitudes. They were forced to endure and suffer. But because they never gave up, because they saw purpose behind their suffering, they were persistent and now stand with God. We marvel at the saints, but we should realize that the qualities they demonstrated are the same ones we must seek in our life. No one seeks to suffer, yet we live in a world that seeks the easy, trouble-free route, the one that brings the fewest problems possible. But the greatest accomplishments of life come through endurance and suffering. 
Athletes spend countless hours honing their bodies and skills in order to compete on the highest level possible. Similarly, musicians, dancers, and other artists practice endlessly to make sure the performance or a master work is precisely what they intend. We work hard at our jobs in order to provide the best we can for our families and ourselves. If we will endure and suffer so much to succeed on the athletic field, the concert hall, or the boardroom, should we not be equally or more willing to endure and suffer to find God? We are the most privileged people for, as we hear in today's second reading, we are the children of God. Like any loving parent, God does everything possible to lead us home, but at times that might mean a bit of tough love. There can be much suffering on the way home. This was the lot of the saints. It should be our lot as well. My sisters and brothers, let us seek to be saints by understanding our need to suffer and endure as the magical bird demonstrated. Let us believe that suffering brings greatness. If we are willing to suffer to succeed in this world, we must be willing to suffer to be a saint and find God. This is the song that brings us to God. Celebrating with all the saints in glory, may the Lord give you peace.